In the series Art Around the World, we present places, galleries, and museums in every continent that are the first points of interest for travelers to a city. St. Peter's Basilica is one of the grandest and most prominent features in the city of Rome. The huge dome structure is located outside the old city walls and on top of the tomb of St. Peter. It has been a place of pilgrimage and curiosity for hundreds of years. The history of St. Peter's Basilica and of the papacy began with the destruction of Rome by fire in 64 AD. Peter, one of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ, was a leader of the early church. He is venerated as the founder of the Roman Church and considered to be the first bishop of Rome, the Pope. He was martyred during the mass of executions of Christians ordered by Emperor Nero following the Great Fire. It is believed that Peter's remains were buried in a simple pauper's grave dug out in the Vatican Hill, a huge necropolis outside the city. At the time, it was forbidden to bury the dead within the city walls, and it was there that Christian pilgrims kept, originally as a secret, Peter's burial place. Peter's earthly remains became the seed of the Vatican Church and the location for St. Peter's Basilica. In 313 AD, Emperor Constantine made Christianity acceptable and legal. Christians were given privileges and allowed to construct places of worship. Constantine became the first Roman Emperor to convert to Christianity and was responsible for the building of the first basilica in 324 on the Vatican Hill, which later became St. Peter's Basilica. By the early 16th century, the original basilica was showing signs of wear and deterioration. In the mid-16th century, Pope Julius II chose to rebuild the structure completely and enlisted one of the greatest architects of his time, Donato Bramante. The completion of the current Renaissance-style building took over 100 years and was largely finished by 1612 and consecrated in 1626. However, it took many more decades and centuries for St. Peter's Basilica to become what it is today, one of the largest churches in the world with an enormous interior space that can host 20,000 people and the sites of some of the most famous artworks such as Michelangelo's masterpiece sculpture, the Pieta. The dome was one of the last things created by Michelangelo during his career. He worked on this for 19 years and took on the commission late in his life. He was primarily interested in creating something magnificent to honor his creator. He took on the task for no money and instead said he did it for the glory of God, the honor of St. Peter, and the salvation of his own soul. It is considered one of his greatest gifts to the church. representation of the Holy Spirit is signified by the window-like sculpture at the back that shows a dove emerging from the heavens. Outside the Basilica, the Grand St. Peter's Square, is where we often see the Pope celebrating Mass during important events. All around the piazza are two great colonnades set in a semicircle to greet and welcome visitors. On top of the colonnade stand the statues of great saints and martyrs. Below at the foot of the staircase in front of the basilica are the statues of St. Peter and St. Paul to welcome all visitors to the church. Entry to St. Peter's Basilica is free for all. Music